This is the best defense in Madden 23 that no one knows about. No! It gets instant sacks. Nope. Oh! Oh my god! Tons of takeaways. And can also shut down the run. So if you want to see what defense I'm using that gets results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again using my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. This is easily one of the most popular, most used playbooks in the game, and it has been my favorite all year. But on defense, I'm going to be using a brand new playbook that I haven't heard anyone talking about, and that's my brand new Denver Broncos defensive ebook. I've made ebooks on four different defenses so far this year the Miami Dolphins, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Multi D defenses. All three of those are arguably the Meta and Man 23, but to me, the Denver Broncos might be the best out of all of them. And that's saying a lot because they are all great playbooks. The formation I'm going to show you today is not in any of those playbooks though. Before I get into this video though, if you guys want to see more defenses from this playbook or more defensive gameplays in general, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. But if you don't want to wait and want to see more right now from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pinned comment and it will download instantly to your phone or laptop. Or you can have it sent to the email of your choice. In this game, I start off on offense and we have another division rival game, this time against the New York Giants. I'm still using the gun stack while flex offenses has pretty much been the only offense I've ran all year. If you missed any of those videos for this offense, I would have links in the description with all the money plays that I've put out of this formation as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that. If you're using this formation like me I'll also have some new plays you can add to this offense including some one-play touchdowns later in the video. One of my new favorite plays is the curl combo which is a play that I've mentioned in several gameplay videos recently as is an absolute glitch against any man press coverage and since man press is the meta I make sure to always have this in my audibles at all times. On the first play I come out in the drive H wheel which is definitely my favorite play but anytime I see my opponent press I immediately switch over to the curl combo combo. All you have to do is fade the X route which is the square button on PlayStation and watch how this guy gets behind the defense for what probably would have been a one play touchdown if Jalen Hurts had a little more arm. The funny thing though is I thought this only beats man press but he wasn't even in man coverage. He was in cover three and somehow it still worked. So even I am still discovering just how glitchy this play can be as it apparently beats any defense just as long as they're in a press. I tried to hit the wheel around the next play to find out that my opponent isn't fucking around. Oh! As you can see the more you fuck around the more you're going to find out. He probably started hard flagging the second he saw this formation as is really the only thing that stops this wheel route. That's fine though because all I have to do is streak the X route on the other side and the corner route beats any zone coverage as I score in the next play. The defense I'm going to highlight today is the Dime 2-3 which looks a lot like the standard nickel package like a nickel 2-4 only with one major difference and that is the personnel adjustments you can make in this formation. Normally in nickel packages everyone likes to substitute fast safeties in their linebacker spots for better pass coverage but since this is a dime package the second spot that is usually a linebacker is already a safety giving you an additional option to substitute a cornerback instead. Cornerbacks are typically faster which will be helpful in the blitz that I'm going to show you a little later in the video and they also typically have higher man and zone coverage ratings which will also help in pass coverage as well. I like to substitute a backup cornerback at my starting safety spot here because this safety is especially weak in man coverage then I move him to the starting linebacker spot. I also like to substitute my fastest cornerback here as he will be blitzing a lot as well. If you play mutt and have a lot of good corners you could always replace both safeties and have seven corners on the field at the same time which no other defense in the game can do. The defensive line is fully adjustable for run and pass defense as well. If you think your opponent is going to run you can always switch to a more conventional look by substituting the outside linebackers on the outside for defensive ends. If you think they are going to pass, just put your fastest linebackers on the end spots of the line. Now I have a favorite play which I will show you guys in a little bit but I start this game off like I often do by experimenting with some other defenses. On the first play I just pick a vanilla cover three and despite the huge size advantage I get the stop by only giving up three yards. On the next play I switch over to a cover four only to see my cornerback get run over by Saquon Barkley. <laughs> This formation can stop the run, but it's not a good idea to go against a three tight end set and expect to win consistently. So after three straight run plays, I decide to switch over to a larger personnel package from my number one run defense to cover four from the three four odd. But he still gets four yards with the exact same stretch run. Then I switch over to the Sam Will Blitz, 
from the 4-3 even 6-1 and he completes a crosser to get into third and inches. On the next play I see another shallow crosser beating his man coverage so I run through him just enough to slow him down gotcha, bitch. just to the safety to come in and make the play. Back on offense he is still in cover three so we go right back to the same corner route setup and a few wheel routes later we get right back into the red zone in just five plays which is improvement considering we scored in three plays on the last drive. We get sacked on first down though and switch to the Saints fork which is another play that I put out in the past and I'll have a link in the description for the breakdown of this play as well. On the next play he user blitzes me right up the middle for an instant sack. I run the hurry up on third and 24 as he tries to user blitz me once again only this time the line picks him up. Just enough time for me to put the ball up as I turn around and rocket catch him you got to take a 14 nothing lead. Back on defense he starts to run a play where every route beats man coverage with no adjustments so he can quick hike me before I get my man defenders aligned to stop them all. On the first play the safety gets pooped on because he's too far away at the start of the play. On the next play he hikes the ball while I'm still trying to man align the corner to the running back and his tight end gets open again for another big catch and run and at this point I decide to turn up the heat with my favorite play from this formation, the silver pinch shoot. The only setup required for this play is to press the DBs and align all the defenders. He once again hikes the ball before I can get set and I'm stuck on a defensive lineman as he throws the ball to the running back for a few yards. On the next play I actually get the full setup in, I align the safety over the tight end, I press the DBs and I get over to use of the running back gotcha, bitch. and I jump that route from a mile away. He could go all and I'm rubbing this in nice and deep as we take a 21 nothing lead. As we go right back in the silver pinch shoot again because it requires very little setup to match his offense as the pressure forces a bad throw. Nope. If you have enough time, an additional step would be to move in the blitzing cornerback to shorten the distance to the quarterback. Just don't move him in too close to the left tackle might pick him up. On the next play, the pressure forces an early throw again. No. And he knocks the ball away. On third and ten, he's running for his life. That was a close one. Just barely avoiding the pressure as he completes the shallow crosser for the first down. On the next play, he makes a wheel route to test my user. And if I pause it right here, it looks like I'm in a perfect position to make the play. But Matt Breda, his running back, is a 93 speed player. And Marcus Epps, my user, is only 87. So he out sprints my much slower defender for the score. Damn it! Which sucks, but it's a simple adjustment of replacing Epps with a much faster user, which I do on the next drive. He leaves me 29 seconds before the half, which is plenty of time, so I go right back to my Saints fork play, and he goes right back to the Overstorm Brave. He user blitzes me once again, but I get it off to the corner route and get in the field goal range in one play, even without having to use a timeout. On the next play, he switches to cover three, and I face catch it right in front of his safety. Then on the next play he switches to cover four and we dot him up in the corner route once again as we are just making some insane moss type catches all over the field as we go down the field to score in literally 16 seconds. Since I'm up by so much I go back to cover one to see if I can make it work but once again he torches me for a big play which he's done pretty much every single time I was in his defense. So I go right back to the silver pinch. He sees I'm man zero once again so he tries to make that wheel route adjustment only this time I have a 90 speed safety to user oh, no, you don't. Gotcha, bitch. as we come away with another user lurk. My opponent switches to the Overstorm Brave one more time so I switch to the Z spot which I keep in my audibles for defenses just like this. I first put this play out from a video called 7 Glitch Routes. I'll have a link in the description for that video as well if you want to see that. All you have to do is throw the ball and pass lead inside before the wide receiver breaks to the outside. It's an easy one play touchdown. I know my opponent has to pass now so we're going to make one last adjustment in the silver pen shoot and that is the gas pass which kicks this blitz up another notch as now the rushers will go straight for the quarterback and they will get there much faster. On the next play we almost get a sack with both blitzing cornerbacks nope. as he barely gets the ball away. On the next play he can't get the ball off this time. <laughs> then on the next play he tries to block his tight end to help and the defensive end comes in unblocked for an instant sack, forcing him to a fourth and forever from his own four. He punts it away because he really doesn't have any choice, but I keep him in the game by throwing an interception, and he returns it up the field for better field position than he had when he was backed up against his own goal line. But I keep pass committing, and now the blitz seems to be getting in way faster as we get another sack. Now he is getting the ball out of his hands in a split second to avoid the pressure. On the next play, he hurries me up once again and hit the running back in the flat before I get set. I miss the overfield tackle, and he gets the first down easily with a big catch and run. He gets to a second and three inside the 10 decides to try to run the ball. This is a solid run defense against gun formations 
Because I got in that three tight end set one more time though, which gave this formation problems earlier, but he never used it against this particular play. And even though I'm out of position with my user on the strong side, this defense shuts the play down for no yard gain. Then on fourth and five, he tries to beat me in the flat to come up one yard short. Nope. Effectively ending the game as if it wasn't over already. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys wanna see more plays from this defense, as always, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have some video links popping up on screen about the offense I was using. So if you guys wanna see more about those plays just click the link on the screen and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below